I get asked a lot during live streams and in the comments section of my videos about region locked content, primarily region locked Blu-rays, why they're region locked and how you can go region free. So I decided to make this video to explain a few things and to maybe help anyone out there who's thinking of going region free, but are wary of taking that plunge. So why is certain content and media region locked in the first place? Because a certain piece of media may only be licensed to be distributed within a certain region of the world. For instance, if Scream Factory is distributing a title on Blu-ray in the US and Canada with a Region A locked release, and Arrow Video is distributing that same title with a Region B locked release in Europe, Africa, Australia, and so on, it's because the rights holder has made separate deals with both companies, giving rights to distribute the film within that territory exclusively. Lumberto Bava's Demons and Demons 2, for instance. Aero Video has the rights to distribute those films in Region B territories, while Synapse Films has the right to distribute those films in Region A territories. It's intended that the two don't overlap, and that's to promote competition, and the more contracts the rights holders have for a piece of media means more money for them. There are also all region releases in which one company has the rights to distribute a title worldwide. And of course, 4K Blu-rays are natively region free, but if the release comes with bonus features, they'll arrive, most likely, on a region locked Blu-ray. Region locking content also applies to streaming media. US Netflix has movies and series that aren't available on Netflix in Canada, and vice versa, for instance. So how do you crack region locked content? Well, there's a couple of ways. If you're streaming that content, you can always use a VPN service. I actually have an exclusive offer with Surfshark VPN that offers you the best discount on the market. So if you're interested in acquiring a VPN service to not only get access to region locked content, but to protect your personal data and so on, all that info will be in the description and in the pinned comment below. Why use a VPN? Say you live in Canada and you want to watch something that's only available on Netflix in the US. VPNs, which have servers all over the world, will mask your Canadian IP address and connect you to a server in the US. Presto, you're an American citizen now. If you want to go region free with physical media, you have a couple of different options. The first being an external Blu-ray drive. But my experience with external Blu-ray drives has not been positive. It has to do with the actual quality of the drive itself. Even one of the more expensive brand name external Blu-ray drives didn't last very long, malfunctioning after only a few uses. Now what I would recommend if you want to be truly region free is to purchase a region free or multi-region Blu-ray player. Now you can't just go to Walmart or Best Buy and purchase a multi-region Blu-ray player. Manufacturers only make Region A players available in Region A territories, Region B players available in Region B territories, and Region C players in Region C territories. So let's say you live in the US and you want to get your hands on a Region B player. Well, you could always purchase one from a retailer in the UK and have it imported, but that could get a bit pricey. Or you could get a modified player on Amazon. I've posted an Amazon link in the description to this modified all region Blu-ray player if you want to take a look at it. I've owned this one for many years. I've never had any issues with it. It's very, very easy to use. And as you can see, it's pretty small, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. When it comes to buying a multi-region Blu-ray player online, I would highly recommend that you read the entire product description. There are many listings on Amazon for players claiming to be region free, but when you dig a little deeper, you'll discover that they are only region free when it comes to DVDs, not Blu-rays. Now with a modded player, you'll either have to enter a code to access different regions, or as with my player, I put the disc in the disc drive, and if it's a region B disc, I press two on the remote and, Region B is unlocked. If I want to switch it back to Region A, I put a Region A disc on the disc tray and I press one on my remote control and that switches it back to Region A. For a Region C release, I do the same thing by putting the disc in the disc tray and then I press the number three on my remote control. So there you have some very easily accessible and cost effective methods to bypass region encoding, whether you prefer to consume your media digitally or physically. I hope this video helps anyone out there who's thinking of going region free. I went region free many years ago and it was worth every penny. Especially if you're a collector of physical media. Region B territories get some awesome collector's edition releases that aren't available here in the US. I highly encourage anyone out there who hasn't made the jump to being region free to do so. Now is definitely the time. Now is also the time to check out the region free YouTube channel if you haven't. 
already. That link is in the description. If you have any questions about region-locked content, region-free Blu-ray players, or VPN services, let me know down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.